Hey guys, <clears throat> hope everyone's uh, week is progressing nicely. Um, I'm sure you guys all heard about Rob Frank by now, um, that he had uh, passed away. It's a very sad day in wet shaving. Today is going to be a pretty somber shave. Today is going to be Arco. I'm going to be using the stick. I'm going to be using Nivea Men. Uh, it's a sensitive uh, post shave balm that I bought all local stuff. Uh, my brush today is going to be my Wolf Whiskers Badger 24 millimeter. And my razor today is going to be uh, my Lawton Cutlery Company uh, Harvard. Uh, Got this for pretty inexpensive as far as a uh, beautiful vintage razor went. You know, you just got to know what to look for. So anyway, let me wet my face. This is pretty much the same way you'd use this. I imagine if you were traveling in a hotel, that's pretty good right there. And then uh, I've got my brush wet, but not uh, soaking wet. You know, we know that uh, Arco doesn't smell the greatest. It's not the best smelling stuff in the world. But it does perform. Obviously, it's been performing for years. You know, I'm not just building, I'm not just building a lather on my face with the brush. I'm also exfoliating and lifting and I'm using that brush to prep my beard. You know, when you, uh, when you're shaving and you're using a brush, those hairs are getting underneath all your beard and lifting up the beard and cleaning away all the old stuff and preparing everything, all your whiskers for shaving. All right, here we go. I believe this is shave 17 as far as my straight razor shaves in a row go. And this thing is shaving amazing.
So I'm a bit of a Cavs fan. So yesterday before I left work, um, one of the guys I work with, Kevin, a wet shaver, Kevin and I both did a, uh, we did a prayer to the basketball gods to let the Cavs win. And part of our prayer was, please, basketball gods, let them hit a lot of three-pointers and nobody get hurt, and let's do this, let's do it and win this thing. And uh, wouldn't you know, they won. LeBron, I mean, he sunk like, from what I understand, he sunk like 98 out of the hundred and some odd points that they scored. So, LeBron, wow, dude. You know, I'm going to put a little bit more water in this. Because it could get a little more. Could definitely take a little more. You could see that. Very nice. So Thursday... Thursday, I'm going to, before I leave work, I'm going to take Kevin, and the two of us are going to take a knee with my ceremonial basketball that I keep in my studio, and we're going to pray to the basketball gods again that, uh, that we can do this. This thing is shaving amazing. Just amazing shave from this razor. Goes to show you, you know, a $20 vintage razor. And this, uh, this razor has a barber's notch on it, if you could see that. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have the weight to it of, you know, a Wade and Butcher Celebrated or something big, you know, but it shaves really well. And it's pretty. It's pretty to look at. I mean, look how shiny. And it's got all that etching. It's a very pretty razor. Excellent. Close this up. Just do a quick rinse. Very nice. And we'll just prepare for our third pass. Woo, I'll tell you, Sebring is getting close. We're getting close, guys. It's like 10 days or so. I mean, it's the 25th. Is Sebring, and uh, we've got 14 or 15 vendors participating. 
with uh, with all kinds of raffles and giveaways and very exciting stuff going on. And, you know, I know a lot of guys are asking me, hey, I want to join the South Florida Wet Shavers. Well, unfortunately, there's only two ways to become a member. One, you have to live in South Florida, in the Florida area. Or two, you have to be a vendor. So, the third option, which is for everyone that's not a vendor and does not live in Florida, is the Wise Wet Shaver. Guys, join the Wise Wet Shaver. That's our sister group that we run as well. And everybody's allowed in the Wise Wet Shaver. That group is for all comers. So you can literally get the same guys that are in my group, in this group, find out all the same information because we pass it along. So everything that's really said and done in the South Florida Wet Shavers page is passed on through the Wise Wet Shaver. We're going to be having, we're going to be doing a lot of live video and a live feed video and stuff on the day. So you'll be able to, if you're not a member of South Florida Wet Shavers, you'll be able to go on because we're going to have guys doing the same thing from the Wise Wet Shaver. So you'll be able to participate through that Facebook page. And I will put the link to that Facebook page, the Wise Wet Shaver, below in the comments. Another fantastic shave. Lawton Cutlery Company, Harvard. Look at the scales. Look at the scale work. Look at the engraving. Look at how polished this is. The spine work, beautiful. For $20 on eBay, you know, you can find razors like these all day long. You just gotta know what you're looking for. And you gotta be able to either refurbish them yourself or send them to somebody that knows how. Wolf Whiskers, beautiful. I love Peter Wolf's brush. One, I only have one, and it's one of my favorites. Um, silver Tip Badger. Arco, used the stick today. The Arco stick, just didn't feel like blooming and breaking stuff out, which is cool. And uh, got a nice, Nice shave. If you could see all the hair, it definitely that razor cut. And uh, I'm going to just wipe off. And then uh, Nivea for men. And uh, I'm just going to unscrew the top. Put my finger over the top, obviously. I'm not going to, you know, a little bit. Don't need much. About that much. Very nice. And you know, this could be something that you definitely take on a travel, when you go traveling. You could take a vintage razor, 5 A's, not too big to carry, a small travel strop like uh, Peter's, you know, Peter Chakalis' strop, very nice and small, 
will fit in a dot bag. And, uh, you know, a, a stick of Arco, a brush, and some Nivea aftershave. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments below. And as always, have a really wonderful shave. See you guys soon.